Hey guys, Stealth here, back with some more Star Wars Battlefront content. Um, so I got some early access to the new Jakku DLC, and wow, I've been playing the hell out of it. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd just give you guys um, a bit of a his Star Wars history lesson, because I'm like, you know, a massive Star Wars fan, and since I know everything, why can't everyone else know? <laughs> um, so yeah, obviously when I first started playing this DLC, like all I could do was look at the like background of this map because it's like just amazing, like so much happening and it's just beautiful. Like I'm pretty sure I spent like uh, like a good like ten games on the rebel side just staring at the um, super star destroyer just crashing into the ground in the background, and that's it. There you can see it. So yeah, um, I'm going to start explaining. So uh, the Battle of Jakku um, occurred one year and four days after the Battle of Endor. Um, so after the Battle of Endor, the Re Rebel Alliance turned into the New Republic. So they tried to, you know, restore order to the galaxy, make all that sort of stuff. And then um, the Imperials, they just, they had no leadership, right? So they like split into lots of little factions and stuff, but um, basically it was just like called the Imperial Remnants and um, what happened was they gathered at full strength over Jakku because um, it, was the, it was basically like their final stand really um, against the New Republic now so you know they were hoping to you know crush the rebels once and for all but yeah it didn't go so well for them they kind of lost the battle and yeah they didn't try an, an, another offensive like that after after like the battle because you know they suffered such um, big losses and yeah they eventually surrendered after that uh, well signed a treaty but yeah this is the battle you get to fight in and um, yeah it's the biggest military confrontation since Endor and you know the you know there's you know a crap ton of Star Destroyers and Basically, their whole fleet, whatever they had, pretty much, they chucked it into this um, battle. And yeah, at the start of this game, you, they, they have a super star destroyer. Um, there is still. Oh, don't even ask me what I was doing there. Um, I just kind of like crash. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, they have. Um, yeah, the Empire's last super star destroyer, the last executive class um, star dreadnought that the Imperials had. You know, like the similar. Yeah, so it was basically this, um, you know, the same class of ship that they had, uh, the Super Star Destroyer that they had in Episode 6 that got destroyed by um, crashing into the death, second de Death Star. But yeah, that was their last one. It's a 19 kilometer long, you know, Star Cruiser, and yeah, that was their last one. And at the start of the g every game um, on this map, we get to see it come crashing down into the sand. It is just amazing, but I wish it happened inside the map because it was beautiful. But <laughs> yeah, and um, there's that massive star destroyer right there that you can see crashed into the ground. That is um, that star destroyer is called the Inflictor, and it is uh, you see it in Star Wars: The Force Awakens trailer. Like, if you haven't seen the trailer, like, what are you doing? Because everyone has to have seen that trailer. But um, yeah, that tr um, crash star destroyer that you see is on, on this desert planet is Jakku, and that is 30 years after after this battle. And you know, um, yeah, you just see in the trailer a crash star destroyer, that one, in and you know, crashed X-wing, and you know, just the um, wreckage of this battle really so far into the future. Um, and yeah, there's a backstory with how it came down. Unfortunately, they don't give you any insight of it in the game. I was like hoping when they s announced this that they were going to make it so you were involved in the downing of the Star Destroyer. If there was like some single player mission or something that you could do to like down the Star Destroyer. But anyway, there wasn't. But yeah, what happened was um, basically during this battle, a group of... Um, Rev, uh, like a rebel task force, they, uh, which composed of you know it's like commandos and um, some ex imperials, they boarded the ship in an attempt to capture the star destroyer because you know, you know they, w the former um, imperials they know stuff about star destroyer, so they thought they could um, you know capture it. So they boarded it and 
they tried to capture it and the you know the captain realized the ship was lost so she tried to blow up the ship um, self initiate the self-destruct sequence for the ship but um, you know the they knew this stuff about a Star Destroyer, the, the boarding party, and they disabled that. So the captain had no other choice because she didn't want the um, ship to fall into rebel hands. So she decided to crash it into the planet. So yeah, the ship um, crashed, the rebels couldn't take hold of it, and you know the Imperial um, crew just bailed out of it. And yeah, that's why there's a crash Star Destroyer on this planet, and you can see it right here, it's like still burning, the engines are still somewhat on, and there's a big smoke trail behind where it came down, and as you can see in the background, there's falling um, Star Destroyers and crap in the background, like, that's that's something that really amazed me, like, there's, through this whole battle, there's all these crashing Star Destroyers and um, Rebel um, MC-80 Star Cruisers, the, which is the um, main rebel um, capital ship, the Mon also known as Mon Calamari Star Cruisers. Yeah, they come down as well, and there's a big one crashed um, just over there, you can see in the background. And, you know, back at the start of the map, there's a, a crash um, Carillion Corvette, a CR-90 um, Corvette, also known as the, you know, Alder Alderaan Corvette or a Blockade Runner, but yeah, that's at the start of it. Um, at the start of this map and you can also go on top of it which is pretty cool but it's massive and there's a massive space battle in the sky like there's like thousands of star destroyers and you know rebel ships everywhere you know there's nebula and b frigates the mon calamari star cruisers there's um corvettes there's yeah you know there's just everything battling it out in the sky in that sky in the atmosphere above the planet and lasers everywhere and it's just so awesome <laughs> um yeah and there's all these smoke trails coming down from the sky and i can only assume that they are um smoke trails from when ships are entering the atmosphere you know so when you know one of these i'm assuming that's what they are because there's a lot of them in the sky and yeah, I don't know, there's not much more to say, there's, I guess we're going to have to wait and see in the new movie what we see happens in Chaku, but yeah, that's what happened there, there was a big battle basically, the Empire won lost, the Rebels won, you know, lots of big battles and dead ships pretty much, <laughs> um, yeah. So I hope that was interesting, and you know, during this background, uh, in the background, it was just me flying a T-47 airspeeder, which I get in the habit of calling snowspeeder because, um, you know, from the All Stars Battlefront game, and you know, they became um, known from you know their role in Episode Five with taking down the AT-ATs, and yeah. Um, I'm gonna make another video on this, uh, on how to, you know, do this, because this is like one of the first games I had using the snow speeder, and I, you know, got a lot of kills and stuff, but I'm gonna make another one, because there was a game I got 60 kills with, just flying a snow speeder, so I'm gonna upload that. It's coming soon, and yeah. Um, the DLC should be coming out. I think 8th of December for everyone else who hasn't got early access. So yeah, I guess there'll be, um, everyone can enjoy this beautiful map. We're taking command of the last control point. Watch for um, enemy movement. yeah. I've got 15 kills with this must be the streak again. Yeah, this was a pretty damn good game. So. Yeah, and we lost because I wasn't on the ground capturing control points, but anyway, I did pretty good, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the Star Wars History lesson, and I'll see you guys soon.